Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Iron Panther Presents. Uh, today, Stacy and I shall be discussing Snowfall, uh, Season 4, Episode 3. A lot of new characters being introduced, storylines going different ways. Um, so, Stacy, where would you like to begin? I almost hate to say this, but Franklin is making Tariq look like a saint. Pun intended. Only, only on, on, on uh, Iron Panther Presents do you get good jokes like that. That was that was classic. Two points for you. Yeah, Franklin. Like, I know some commenters are like, stop comparing this to power, but no. This, it, it, there will be comparisons. You have to see. College kid, young adult college kid says, fuck that. I'm doing this drug life. He comes from a big, rich town. And he is truly from the poorest part. Okay, like, this is the story. <laughs> well, frankly, you know, you know who summed it up best? The f now former black librarian that he fucked over. Quote, fuck you, Franklin Saints. <laughs> that should be the title of this entire series. Fuck you, Franklin Saints. Like, like everybody loves Chris. <laughs> everybody hates Chris. Like, fuck you, Franklin Saints. Like, dude, like, I just don't get his, he, it's like he's a machine. He's like a robot, just kill, screw over, like, he shows no emotion when he's, like, doing these things. It's just like, oh, well, oh, my ex is all cracked. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, well. Like, <laughs> let's, get, let's get back to this money. But who's behind him, though? Who told him to make this shit happen? His mama dearest. Sure. Sissy, who just Tasha. got kidnapped by a cop. And brought to the grave site of Andre Wright, the man her son murdered across the uh, ne next door. Wasn't even across the street. Next door. She hosted the, the repass. And after all that, she's like, finish that deal, Franklin. <laughs> What's up? Behind every shitty son is a shitty mama. Oh, thank I you. Said I said it. Look at that, Tasha. <laughs> hey, with a drunk for a daddy. <laughs> oh shit! It almost writes itself. God damn! <laughs> is this what happened to Ghost? Is this how I ended up with this shit? <laughs> um, Franklin had a mama, so what's his excuse? And she went from I'd rather be homeless to being a consigliere damn near. Next thing, she gonna end up like Dr. Senator. She go pew, pew, pew. And then Franklin is going to get all crazy. <laughs> I thought Nixon was going to kill her, but then it was taking too long. Like when he kept on driving her around, I was like, he ain't, he ain't going to do that. This is taking way too damn long. Um, but it, I, and I really thought, I was like, Franklin, once again, you're making bad decisions. You're making enemies that you don't want to fuck with. Like this is law enforcement. If you like, will, white law enforcement. Like, like you don't want that. Like, he doesn't understand the concept of not burning bridges. Like, you're living in the same community that you're dumping all these drugs in. And you shitting on your homeboys. You kill your last boy. Like, you you killing cops. Like, yeah, you got the CIA, but they will disavow you and be like, we don't, we don't know that dude. Like, So thank you for bringing that up. Thank you for bringing that up. Because when after watching the special forces level operation that Teddy <laughs> pulled off <laughs> with Gustavo, two guys with bulletproof vests. That's how you take out an opponent. You don't bring them all to the same place and have a shootout when you're there when you could potentially get shot with everybody else. And then you don't even know if the target lives or dies. He, Franklin still hasn't figured that shit out. But let's talk about Stephanie Gustavo. I was like, again, why are we looking at this storyline? Why does this matter? But all of a sudden, Teddy was a former Navy SEAL, apparently. Okay? Because he was knocking all motherfuckers left and right. One shot, one kill from a distance. Just him and Gustavo laid out like 10 dudes plot convenience 
both Teddy and Gustavo only get shot in the bulletproof vest center mass. <laughs> so they're absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Tell me again why he can't help Franklin get, get rid of uh, 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 Scully. Tell me again. He just don't want to. He's he like, to. this is some this is some gang shit that's not messing up the drug operation. That's why the Mexicans were messing up the drug operation. Franklin mm -hmm. should figure that out and be like, let me try this again. All right, Teddy. If Scully keeps on doing his shit, I'm not selling cocaine anymore, which means the contras are gonna be fucked. Then all of a sudden, Teddy's gonna be like, let me suit up, get Gustavo, and we're gonna kill everyone in that project. <laughs> by themselves <laughs> i was like oh shit <laughs> exactly. it was awesome that was a movie all by itself i was like right. this is, i was like this is some good shit but uh, actually then when he busts gusavo in the head with the gun i was like wait what my head started hurting i was like what is happening and then he teddy's like oh i'm cia you're like oh what like he who else Gustav hey gustavo who like he like teddy said who else kills a DEA agent and walks away from that shit. Like, you have to know I'm working for somebody bigger than that, right? You have to figure that out. Franklin, with some newspaper articles and 15 minutes figured out that his little drug operation was, was playing for the Contras. He figured that out by himself. That's why he's the brains. Like, anyway, I'm just saying, it was awesome what, what Teddy did, what Gustavo did. I totally understand Gustavo's motivation, but I'm, again, Clearly, Teddy just doesn't want to help Franklin with this whole Scully like man boy shit. Like he clearly could. He he is skilled. He got the skills. Like I thought he didn't have the skills. And then I thought he's gonna kill another Mexican partner. Cause remember he killed the first one because <laughs> he killed that white girl, uh, Alejandro. Alejandro. Yes, yes, yes. I was like, this white man has no problem turning on these Mexicans. Like this ain't okay. Or Latinos. I'm sorry, Latinos. Um. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn. I was like, he's about to kill another one? I was like, anyway, nope. He was just like, nah, bro, we just got to do this right. And then he's like, what are we going to do? We, we're going to have the Mexican intelligence help us. Now it's just you and me. Well, apparently that's all you needed, bro, because you had no problems. That's it. Dude, this was better than uh, S Sicario 1 and 2. <laughs> just, well, especially 2. Especially 2. 2 was absolute <laughs> shit. I was like, one was was interesting, just long, boring. Anyway, my point is, good action. Good action movie inside this drug drama. I was very impressed. All right, anyway, let's get back to Franklin and his uh, ruthless family. Because um, Sissy was like, hello, Paul Davis. So now we're introduced to Paul Davis, who's only going to be in one more episode. I thought he was going to be a bit like a big part of this season four. But according to IMDb, uh, this is only one of two episodes we're going to see this black man in, so... Mm. He got to get back to stealing heat. That's right. If you if you want part of this family, and you know how many black crime shows we watch, uh, he's also a drug dealer. Actually, is a drug dealer in in a family business. Uh, the new the new big bad for season three. Mm -hmm. Um. So we will see. So even though he's not being employed here, he's still in in the black community and therefore the drug community. Because why not? Um. And he'll be there. Paul Davis, who just met Sissy Saint and soon to be Franklin Saint, already knows Franklin de deals drugs. Everybody knows. Except for the for the for the librarian. Except for the bookstore owners, which doesn't make any sense. Hey. Why are two people who are part of the Black Panthers, who are trying to uplift the Black community and stop the white government from destroying them, not somehow okay with Franklin Saint selling crack in the same community? And is totally surprised when Franklin turns on them. It does. I thought he was going to get shot again. I really thought as he was limping away, I really thought she was going to be like, blah, blah. Would have been awesome. I was like, oh shit, he about to get shot again. Franklin, have you not learned? You don't shit on people and don't have security with you. Like that's not that's not he, smart. He just out here acting a whole ass by himself, just him and his cane. So Lerp is outside 
I mean, but I'm like, lurk needs to be inside. And when you're about to tell someone that you shitted on their business and you took away their livelihood, you need to have lurk with you because that could turn to violence like quickly. He was just so cool with it. Like, oh yeah, you know, you have seven days to get out. <laughs> You're going to lose this shit anyway. All right. So let's not act like. Which is true. From a business perspective, I get it. They were going to lose it anyway. He gave them twice what they would have gotten. And they have a lovely new location down the block. Like, from a business perspective, yeah. But morally, you're a piece of shit. No, he is a piece of But again, what is his motivation? What is his goal? Why is he doing any of this? I t- Perp Minded does power videos. And he did one like if Franklin Saint died and then I guess Man Boy might take over or whatever. At this point, I don't give a shit if Franklin dies. I care nothing for him. He's not sympathetic. I don't understand him at all. At least with Ghost, you kind of felt bad because you knew he wanted to be legit. And all the little fucked up shit he would do was for the big picture, right? And even when he would screw people over, he would try to give them like a little something, something. You know? Shut up, Dave. But I just feel nothing for Franklin. I feel nothing for him. Walter White started off with, I got cancer and I need to make sure my ungrateful, not working wife and my, and my, and my kids are going to be taken care of. He had a goal. He had a selfless goal and the, and the game just got too good to him and he was too good at it. And he was like, I'm riding this shit out till I die of cancer or being shot. Either way, I'm in it. Like that made sense. That was sympathetic. Yeah. Franklin don't give a fuck. I thought he wanted to go back to college. I'm like, Franklin, take one week's profit and move to D.C. and go to Howard. But, I mean, just... He has not mentioned college. He has not mentioned starting a barbershop. Like, nothing. Nothing. Record label? <laughs> Stop. Stop. Well, at least his daddy set up a shelter. Like... Uh, Help with the I same community it. your family is fucking over. That's, that's hilarious. But... At least he tried. It, I guess. Why sissy running around doing damn dirty deals and I don't get it. She she step up at, at, at the, the clothes game though. How did the buck? <laughs> she still got the fucked up dresses. She like let me get let me get my dress right. Let me get my jacket right. Like girl, get your shit together. Hire a fashion coordinator. Your son is making a million dollars a month somewhere around that tax fucking free. Move out of the fucking projects. Like, get your shit together. Like, why are you and your your husband this still living in the home. house? This is our home. We've been here for 20, 30 years. No, she been there because your husband was living on the street. Hey, and he got the most sense out of all of them. I don't get it. Yeah, he has the most clarity. He has the most like he has the most clarity. <laughs> Getting off alcohol fixes your mind he's like you know what this ain't good for any of us sissy like no we about this life we don't know how she got there but now she committed 100 well the real estate game get too good to her what's up i guess the real estate game getting too good to her apparently not she's still again that house was paid with jerome's drug money so it's not like it's it's you know she's somehow better than by staying in that house and where's franklin staying where's he living because his house got busted into by Andre. So I thought he was sleeping on the couch or something. Like, man, do something with yourself. What happened anyway. to the, the little girl from high school or whatever? Oh, T. I don't fucking know. That's that, that was her name because her, her regular name was too long and non-pronounceable. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know, I don't know where she at. Wanda's back. Wanda's back looking even more cracked out than before. One thing so, I noticed when, whenever they show crackheads, it's almost always women. Yes. Well, I, I say maybe the, the women roles are more rememberable. You know what I'm saying? But I, I wouldn't go say they're always women. Wanda I is, said almost always. Oh. Which means yeah, there are a few men. Chris Rock, most famous. Crackhead. Anyway, my, my ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a review of this uh, Netflix uh, documentary called Crack which will cover all these things so we can address those and most of the crackheads in that show were 
Du, 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 one hit. They focused on the. We'll do a review on that. Okay, it was it was I, it was a little bit. Anyway, I see your point. I see your point. Wanda Wanda means something to us because she means something to Leon. Leon. And to see Leon still cares, like he's he's like fuck, man. Like he, but maybe with her losing her tooth with the other two crackheads, a woman and a man, maybe he's, this will help. Two out of the three for women. And a woman is the one that jumped into that uh, Corvette as it was driving off to get her crack rock. To your to your point. To your point. Um, male. Male. Maybe because... And then what's his name? He smoked crack, but he was never a crackhead. That's true. Kevin smoked crack. Fine. Absolutely fine. Um, maybe because they feel women are more sympathetic than when you see them on drugs, you care more than you see a man on drugs. Because who... I, I'm, I'm going to go there. It's, it, it looks worse. It shows a, a bigger impact when you, show, when you show a woman and children. Because nobody gives a fuck about a man. You know what I'm saying? He gets shot, you just keep it moving. You know, but a woman gets shot, you're like, oh man, that's terrible. Look at what crack is doing. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that I think, I think. Anyway, Wanda there, she lost a tooth. Hopefully Leon can clean her up. You know what I'm saying? Get her hair done. Get her, you know, brush, brush what's left of her teeth. You know what I'm saying? And like, get her back looking good. Cause I, I, I thought about her. I was like, we saw Mel again. I was like, where's Wanda? And I'm, I'm at least glad Wanda's still alive. So there you go. Also, we got to notice that Leon's team's product is not as pure as the other crack. Crack, in it, by definition, is not pure. There's no such thing as pure crack. That don't make any sense. Like, he got that good crack. It's <laughs> like crack by creation is the byproduct of good cocaine. What are you talking about? But anyway, Wanda has, co has come to expect a certain level from her product. Once again, this show, she's a connoisseur of the crack, if you will. I also, again, I want to point out how this show is better than the power universe because at least they identify the product. Like it kind of pisses me off that like power reverts to all drugs as products. So you don't have to think about the fact that they're dealing dangerous drugs, but this show lets, lets you know what drug is being dealt what drug is being used and how it's fucking up the, the, the customers. So good on Snowfall for help, helping us, reminding us of the negative sides of the drug dealing world. So there you go. I'm a, I'm a, I like to give two shout outs uh, for, for that. Um, let's talk about uh, Man Boy doing exactly what Louis said he was going to do. Louis said, you don't back Man Boy. Because he's going to try to take over the business. He's always fucking around. He can't stay in his lane. What does he do when he meets up <laughs> with Jerome and Louis? Why Franklin here? Franklin fucking up everything. It's better when it's just us three. So do you think, you think Jerome is finally being like Louis was right? Maybe we should have listened to her? Men never do that. It's man, you know, she just lucky guess. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this that conversation gets back to Franklin, so then Louie can once again be like, "I told you, we backed the wrong horse." All right. I think they are going to get tired of Franklin. The whole crew. Nah. Nah, Jerome, Jerome, Jerome is too loyal. Yeah, Louis, Louis was loyal and he got tired of go shit. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was a whole different level of fuckery. So that, that uh, so to your point, Tommy, Tommy is perfectly capable of fuckery. We, we, we're starting to see that. No, but I'm, I'm saying though, you, you should you, that, again. That's Ghost and Tommy. Is is Leon and Franklin, and that's already fucking up. Like they, that, I think that's the better. Like, and you see where Leon's at. Leon's like, we're doing our own thing. Fuck Ghost slash Franklin. <laughs> Franklin. I think Louis. I for sure Louis. Jerome may have to come along with Dragon and crying and screaming and kicking, but I, I think Franklin will be uh, ousted out of command at some point. If they can get to the CIA. Franklin. Louis already already 
was the face of the, of, of, of with, with Teddy. I see your point, but as you, <laughs> as we just said, the men ain't following a woman. That's just not happening. She might have to get her a uh, Queen of the South type angle. Start a whole new drug operation with people who are willing to work for a woman. Yes, absolutely. All right. Teddy, Teddy's the nineties hit is gonna be women, women, women. Anyway, so <laughs> what happens? When the nineties hit. What happens in the women are gonna start having speaking their voices and becoming, you know, more outspoken. All right, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see if Franklin lasts last that long. Um, and what's going to happen with the whole franchising thing? I mean, since Crack really did go from L.A. to New York, you know what I'm saying? Is that the long-term game? Are we going to see Franklin get on a private jet and fly out to New York to, to establish a new operation? Where's Avi? Um, not that his story has anything to do with Franklin, though, at this point. I mean, Franklin is an independent entity. I like how, I like how he pulled out the cashier's check for the for the bookstore owner it kind of reminded me he was like can i pay for this private jet ride with a check and the the pilot was like yes you can he's like oh shit i know what a check is yay like i'm somebody Um, the 80s they had the american express card i remember those commercials like he should be like balling out just to be like he gets american express card uh hey mom let's get a new place let's just let's just step up some shit like why are we still living like this this way you and daddy can play, you know, Monopoly in the real house uh, that ain't getting shot at. That everybody doesn't know where you live. That man boy doesn't know where you live. That all your all your competitors <laughs> and Scully don't know where you live. Because man boy can be like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kill this family and start all over again. So both of them are, are threats, really. But you're right. And yeah, then Scully. you got the cops. And the, the cops came to your house and arrested your mama because he knew where you lived. Uh, and Nixon, again, N- Nixon, I mean, the way Franklin worked the system with Paul uh, with Paul Davis to get uh, Nixon out, it was awesome. Um, but he still needs legal, he still needs cop protection. Like, that's a thing. And that didn't stop Andre Wright. Andre lost his job and he still went after Franklin. And then Franklin killed him. So, um, are we, are, we, are we done with with the with Nixon? Are we gonna see him again? Do you think? Never know. Uh, Maybe like, like a, you know, huh? be like great. Oh yeah, see that she did work. You know, you know who that is? That reporter. That's Whose daughter that. apparently don't talk to her. I was like, dude. Like, well, she had a black husband though, so you know, I'm like, that's cool. Ex husband, excuse me. Uh, she really kept it in the community. I respect that. Um, so anyway, my point, so she ain't got no man. She ain't got no, no child. All she has is the business. All she has is her job, which means her sole mission in life is going to be going to get Franklin. And we saw how that worked out for Andre. And we saw how that worked out for Greg and for Jabari. That reporter is not making it. Okay. So the question is, is Franklin going to do it himself? Or is Sissy gonna? Uh, do- he only kills people who are close to him. I bet you the dad does it. What dad? His dad. Think, think about it, right? Right now, he's the only saint that's not on board, like 100. You know what I'm saying? And she went to go talk to him first, right? She's gonna do a story on him and the uh, and the rehab center, right? That he's trying to put together, right? So as the story starts coming out, once the you know Franklin hears the fact that she her real investigation is him, and she knows way too much about the drug operation, right? Then Dad is like that. That's that shows he's committed to the cause when he kills her. I hope not, but could be. Um. I guess the Mexican thing is over, but I, again, I just want to acknowledge everybody that you know Gustavo, as as Leon pointed out, is the reason why the Mexicans know how to make crack, and we've seen none of that. They they already had their own cocaine uh, supplier, so that that has nothing to do with the CIA. So I'm like, where's that coke uh, that, that all that crack being sold, and why and why why are the why haven't the black community come together 
to move against the the, the Mexican community and and, and expand into, into that territory. When do we come together for anything? Don't be like that. That's another video. Other than crap. So we come together. I mean, you know, just not all reparation. Did you go to the reparations march? I didn't have the reparations march. See? I, I was like. I'm sorry. Can't you get shot up together for that. Million Man March. Black Lives Matter protests. The first one, not the second one. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Um, Obama. First and second term. Mostly first term, but second term too. A little bit less right there. The liberals put him in office. Kamala Harris. Damn right. Damn right. At least half. You know what? I'm not even going. <laughs> so let's, let's not. Let's not. So it's, that's not the point of this video. All right. So the point is, as we talk about crack, um, we're gonna do a video on the documentary because it is it's very it, it is informative and, and interesting and and it does give context to this entire show, um, uh, about CIA's involvement in the cocaine dealing in the '80s and how that led helped with the crack epidemic, um, um, in the in the black community across America. And it's a very very interesting thing, um. So that'd be coming to us too. Anything else for this episode or in this season? Anything else you want to see? I was about to say bastards got to pay, but um... ain't none of that here. Sure. Franklin <laughs> got to pay. That's what you want to say. Fra you Franklin know. got Franklin got to pay. Like I mean, as, as you said, everybody's gonna turn on him before the show's over. Like it's it's not going. It's not gonna be. He's not gonna end well for Franklin. I mean, one way or the other, somebody's fucking him over. Like somebody's killing him. I, right now, right now, I again, so I kind of want it to be, the, if it's not the dad, if his own, that would be perfect. His own dad is like, Franklin is a monster. He's gone too far. You know what I'm saying? Like he screwed over too many people and I'm not about this. I tried my best to be like, Franklin, stop. Like you're hurting us too much. You're hurting our people too much. And he feels like the only thing he can do is just put him down, Right. That would be interesting. I was gonna say the bookstore owner. If, if that didn't happen this episode, it don't mean shit for her to come back like five, ten episodes later and then try to do it. But it, it, it would have to be his dad. Everybody else is already one hundred percent about his life, so he's the only one that's kind of in, kind of out, and only really there because his wife is there, because Sissy's there. All right, all right, guys. That is the video. Uh, sorry, we got a little bit political. Uh, we love our people, you know what I'm saying? We just, you know, sometimes we gotta point out shit that's true. You know what I'm saying? Just, just gotta be real sometimes, you know? We don't we do not do well sticking together. And, uh, you know, sometimes we like to play the victim, to be honest. But um, that's just real too. But um, she, <laughs> she says, don't tell anybody. <laughs> just, again, I just wanna remind everybody what Franklin said. When Franklin was like, I ain't gonna let the white man control me. I'm not going to be a slave. I'm going to see my white drug dealer, though, and get my white drugs <laughs> and sell it to my black people. Because <laughs> somehow that's freeing his people. Think about that. Even Nino Brown didn't go that far. I mean, shit. At least he owned it. was like, hey, I'm the American dream. I'm just trying to make it out here, right? You know what I'm saying? We all trying to get paid. This is how I'm getting paid. Um. Anyway. All right, guys, uh, that's the video. Uh, if you're still watching this video and you're somehow still a part of this channel, thank you, uh, and, and we appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Um, but let's get social. Uh, please like the video, comment on the video, share the video, uh, help us grow this channel. If you're that person who said everything in our last uh, Snowfall video was wrong and you had to comment, but you couldn't subscribe, I welcome your, your, your comments on this video, uh, please. And all comments, if you dislike the video, if you hate watch us, that's still watching. You know what I'm saying? That's a thing. That's a thing. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll accept that too. It's whatever. Neither one of us get paid off this. Uh, we, we just we just enjoy it. Um, enjoy your feedback. Um, and we'll see you again next week for more Snowfall. As Jerry Springer says, I didn't forget, take care of yourselves and each other. All right, now I feel better about myself.